Lara Clava back again. What's the crack? Please like and subscribe. So, the punishment, social justice, comes to us from Ryan Alves and Ron Beek the third. It's uh, sort of their kind of response to how the the police and a lot of right wing extremists in America have been using the uh, the Punisher symbol itself. It's a very simple thing. Obviously, it's uh, it's entwined in the culture wars, but they play pretty true to the Punisher's character in this. I'm not 100% with the Punisher. I've read a bit of the Punisher Max. I've watched the movies. Um, I don't know how hung up the Punisher would get about a symbol being taken over by other people. But definitely the types of people he's going up in this. Like, they are the kinds of people that the Punisher would go after. So it's a very simple story. It's, it's not a very big comic either. It's pretty thin. But it's a very simple story. The Punisher, he goes into this cafe. He sees a bunch of guys who were murderers. And uh, they've been using his symbol to... Um, to kill people. People... Obviously, they're making racial crimes and stuff, but uh, he decides to take it out on them by just murdering the bunch of them. And look at these details here. That's really, really cool. The whole top half of his head is missing. But yeah. I wouldn't consider myself a very woke person. Um, but you can definitely appreciate what they've done here with this. Curb stomping. Head just exploding. I don't understand how Marvel can have all these writers these days who are just terrible at their job. But yet you've got a bunch of guys here who they've made this story and it's written well it's brutal how the Punisher should be and Marvel haven't even blinked at them once I'm not saying I think they should take a job with Marvel because I've heard it's pretty terrible to work with but it's, it's, it's stuff like this that's made me more appreciate good comics it's made me think less about, oh, things are woke. That's why I used to be wild for that. We used to be constantly going, oh, this is woke and that is woke. And it's really p comics like this that have made me learn, no, they're just really fucking badly written. Um, and I think these, like, this is proof that there are people that share these kinds of same values that Marvel are looking for, but they still... They're good at doing their job. They're they're good at writing. They're good at uh, they're good at art. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much about the culture war stuff because uh, yeah, fuck that. But this is the symbol, and we'll go to the front page. This is the symbol he replaces himself with at the end of the comic. Look at this. Okay, maybe it's not as iconic as the skull, but. Definitely better than what they have in the Punisher comics these days with the eyebrow skull. That's not the only thing he did. He threw this in as well. Just concept art. How they decided to have the the new symbol. But yeah, I think the guy that, that wrote this, Ryan Alves, Ron Beek, both of those guys, they're they're looking forward to to a good career. Anyway, links to all of their stuff down below their store. I also have this from them. I'll probably do this at some date. Um, you go to YouTube, go to Cyberpunk Holiday. He did a video about this. Criminally underrated views on it. So I'll put a link to his channel down in the uh, comments as well. But so far, everything I've read from these guys is great. Like, the art to them, everything's fantastic. That's for another day. Punishment Social Justice. Definitely get it. If you're getting it, I'd say get the Batman as well. Well, this is Lara Clava signing off with 
stop complaining about comics and go read them. Boink.